High school football reaching the peak of the season. Big upset in the low country this past week. Justin Jarrett has the latest. The stakes are raised with each passing week of the high school football season, and week nine brought some high impact matchups despite a reduced schedule. So let's dive into the highlights in another edition of Loco Lights on WHHI, powered by locosports.com. We got an early jump on this week's slate with a Thursday night showdown in Region 6-4A as the Hilton Head Seahawks hosted the previously undefeated May River Sharks and pulled off an upset that shook up the region race. Troy Timko and Thaddeus Zarnecki combined for 159 rushing yards on 28 carries and Timko and Derek Renizeski each scored a rushing touchdown while Renizeski added a touchdown pass for the Seahawks who surrendered a touchdown on the opening drive but kept the Sharks out of the end zone the rest of the night in a 23-10 win. Zarnecki and Nathan Ape each had 11 tackles while Andrew Massey and Tristan Simmons added 10 each to anchor a Seahawks defense that contained May River's powerful rushing attack and forced three turnovers to put themselves right back in the region title hunt. You can watch the replay all week on WHHI. That leaves Bluffton as the only undefeated team in Region 6-4A play as the Bobcats improved to 2-0 with a home win over Colleton County. Aiden McCarthy threw three touchdown passes, including a pair to Carnell Warren, and Cordell Hawley added 123 yards and a TD on the ground for the Bobcats, who cruised past the Cougars 34-3. Beaufort High's playoff prospects took a hit with the Eagles' second region loss as Beaufort was unable to hang on to an early 14-0 lead in a homecoming loss to Bishop England. The Bishops scored 31 unanswered points in a 31-14 win, leaving the Eagles in need of a win over Hilton Head or May River to sneak into the postseason. It was a rough night for Battery Creek, which was overmatched against powerhouse Oceanside Collegiate and suffered a 49-0 home loss, while also losing quarterback Chase Olson to a shoulder injury. Huge loss. Two loco teams faced important matchups in Region 5-2A, but only one came out on the right end. Whale Branch held on for a hard-fought 14-12 road win at Lake Marion to improve to 2-0 in region play, but Hampton County fell 27-14 to Barnwell in a battle of the top two contenders. Back-to-back -back pick sixes from the Warhorses turned the game on its head. Ridgeland's region title hopes were dashed as well, as the Jags couldn't hang with perennial power Bamberg Earhart, falling 36-0 at home. Ridgeland is still in line to host a first-round playoff game in Class 1A. Only three games on the Skiza slate this week, but they included an impromptu loco-on-loco -loco clash in Hardyville, where Thomas Hayward put on a show in a 35-7 win over John Paul II. Tony O'Banner rushed for 230 yards, including a 97-yard touchdown. Colton Young added 182 yards and two TDs on the ground, and Josh Gibson caught a touchdown pass and took a punt return to the house for the Rebels, who took a shutout into the fourth quarter before Connor Brown and Thomas Gem hooked up for a TD pass. Elsewhere, Colleton Prep went on the road for a convincing 38-14 win over Lee Academy behind a big night from Cale Owens and the return of Walker Bryan, and Hilton Head Prep came up just short in the 35-27 loss at St. John's Christian. We'll be live at 9.30 p.m. tonight for the Loco Sports Lowdown, and we'll look back on all the action under the Friday Night Lights and check in on other sports news around the Loco. So tune in to the Loco Media YouTube channel for all the local sports news you need. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco. Thanks, Justin. We want to thank all of our guests for making us a whole lot smarter over the last 30 minutes. A special thanks to you for tuning in. Get out and vote, and if you missed anything at all on this newscast, we'll be back in 90 minutes.